Hello, I'm David Tuveson. I'm the president of the AACR. The National Cancer Act was very important. More was expected from the medical establishment, from the scientific collaborators in cancer research to help patients. 50 years in, we have made progress, measurable progress. We also have work to do. I'm excited that AACR is a big part of charting that next phase. With the advent of immune therapies and targeted therapies, what has actually happened is we do now have lower mortality overall from cancer. We, you know, less people die per year of cancer this year than five years ago. That's, that's a massive accomplishment. Some of that is because people are caught early, but some of it is because we have much better therapies for melanoma, for lung cancer, different types of therapies, and for various other types of cancer. I think that more effort focused upon the micro environment and the macro environment will help in a large way. And so the tumor micro environment is areas which are the cancer cells and other cell types. Those cells and that stroma, that connective tissue, have influenced the biology of cancer and influence the response to therapies. And so the micro environment, like figuring it out and trying to manipulate it such that the cancer cells respond better to today's medicines is a very important task that we have. The other topic I mentioned though is the macro environment. And so you could think of the macro environment as how the patient lives, where the patient lives. And I worry a lot that the macro environment promotes aging of your tissue and obesity can cause that or other stresses can cause that. That's an area I would love for people to, to work on. So these are both like conceptual things. And the last thing I'm gonna get in here is that I would love to see more development of better ways to kill cancer cells. You know, we have a lot of drugs that kill cancer cells. We just cannot give those drugs because they're toxic. They make your hair fall out. They make, you know, your blood counts go down because it hurts the bone marrow and other dividing cells. Could there be better ways to deliver otherwise toxic drugs? Cancer disparities is an important topic uh, to discuss. It, we've found that there are individuals who are at much higher risk for developing and dying from cancer. An important topic that AACR is involved with because we are interested in trying to understand health and cancer across populations is trying to understand, might there be germline genes that either protect or make you susceptible? to different types of cancer, the only way to answer that is to actually sequence people and to actually sequence carefully the genomes of enough Europeans ancestry, enough African American ancestry, enough Latin American ancestry, and native populations of Indians in this, in this country or Pacific Islanders, et cetera. And so these are studies that are getting off the ground that you would think they would be simple to do, but it's taken a while to get organized. Uh, but that's something I do feel that ACR can contribute to and, and help help you know galvanize the community. You know it's it's really important uh, this issue about disparity, diversity, and what we want is like equal availability to cancer care for all patients. The investment of society and particularly the investment of American taxpayers in medical research has led to modern medicine as we see it today. In our field of cancer research, the investment made by the National Cancer Institute in funding scientists and physicians to fight cancer has led to the basic discoveries that we've discussed today, to the targeted therapies, to the immunotherapies, to new ways to approach cancer patients in the clinic, to this new recognition that diversity and disparity are very important to look at, to teach us about cancer and to help more, more individuals.